Hey there, welcome to a new video with PSD Box. I'm Andre, and today it's time to announce the winner of Photoshop Challenge 10. And I decided that I will have two winners. This is the image that I created for the challenge, and you had the image of the dragon, and uh, you had to create your own manipulation. This is my version. I'm gonna make the tutorial right now after I show you the winner. But let's first take a look at the submissions and your creations. Um, there were only 19 posts for this uh, for this one and only on Instagram. I searched in Facebook and they were the same. So uh, I'm going to show you the ones that we have here on on Instagram. So these are all the images that you created uh, for this challenge. And let's take a look at all of them. I'm going to start from the bottom. Um, my usual followers, El Marquesado and, and some others like Lori Valiente and uh, uh, some others, uh, they always submit their entries on my challenges, so thanks for following me. And well, these are the images, lots of styles, uh, different uh, versions. Uh, some of them are really weird. For this one, I <laughs> I, I had a quite a hard time to uh, see where the dragon was. I can see it right here on top. And this one is also really cool. Most of them are the same um like medieval looking or like uh, the game of thrones i guess because uh, of the coincidence and they they just uh, well the new season just came out now um let's see some others like for example this one and uh, well colorful stuff a lot of effects uh, fire effects this one is really cool and for me this is the winner i liked it a lot uh, this one is also really cool, very different, but uh, I like this one a lot because, I don't know, maybe the background and the scale here, this, uh, I don't know if it's a woman or a man, that stands here watching the dragon. I would like the dragon to be a little more, have a little more uh, maybe contrast on it, but it looks really nice, and for me this is the winner, and the second winner will be this one, which I will announce on the, on the, um, on the Spanish version, but... Uh, just uh, send me a private uh, message and I'll give you uh, access to one of the tutorials that to a premium tutorial that uh, that you choose from my website the link is on the video description and just to show you how it works once you're enrolled uh, so just uh, you will come to this uh, to this um, page uh, actually you will go here to collections and you can choose any tutorial that you find here. There's nine pages, nine pages, I think, of tutorials. And you can choose one, um, any tutorial that you want. And with your email, I'm going to give you access to this. You will see that this is different from my old website because I'm going to move everything here. And uh, here, if you want to know why I do this here on, on the about the new design, you can read about why I'm changing stuff here because I'm tired of WordPress. And just to show you, I'm gonna go to enrollments. Um, and you just, uh, for example, let's choose, um, I don't know, this one. Um, you will get here, you will click this link and you will get to this page where you can take a look at the tutorial. You will see the English and Spanish version. It depends on what tutorial you, you choose, but uh, most of them have English and Spanish version. Just click here and watch the tutorial and you also have the resources which you can download and if you also want to download the video here on the top you will see this icon that allows you to create a download or you can comment the video and the same with the stock but you can choose any uh, video okay just this is just a, a demo so you can see how it works so just come here and uh, watch the video and download it if you want okay those are the winners for this uh, photoshop challenge and uh, the winner, as I said, was Reimaginate and uh, Not Good <laughs> or Not God. Uh, let's go to their channels. Uh, one user suggested that I would review their channel. And actually, um, Reimaginate has a really cool... Oh, yeah, just 16 years old. A kid playing with Photoshop. <laughs> Great. Uh, they have really cool um, tutorials. I really like this one. Um, yeah, I, I think you could create a tutorial for PSD Box. <laughs> Um, yeah, really nice uh, images. I can see a change uh, from here to the first one, from the first one to yeah, this one is also really cool. To to the last one, so yeah, a lot of improvement I can see here. And the other one was not God. Let's take a look at this channel. 
Oops, let's go back. I don't know if they have uh, like um, websites. Um, I saw Reimagined has a, a Behance, yeah. Not God as well. Uh, oh, yeah, I like this one. I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, like an underground uh, machine. Yeah, I like it. And yeah, not a lot of manipulations. Yeah, this one seems similar to my uh, Skull Island, I guess. And the same concept. And I think it does logos as well. Yeah, oh yeah, I like this one. So I can see that uh, many of you do different stuff like logos and different kind of designs. I just make photo manipulations. But I like your creations. Oh, yeah, that's Venom. And okay, this is it. Let's go and see how I made that uh, this image myself. So, um, as I said, I gave you the image of the dragon. So I'm gonna. Um, but I started creating this with the background image, which I got from Pexels.com, which is another website just like Unsplash. So what I'm gonna do is go to my stock folder right over here. Dragon friend, and I started with this image. I'm gonna put the links on the video description so you can go there and download it. I, I got this from pexels.com, I guess. I don't remember, but I think it's from there. You'll, you'll find the link on the video description. So I added this here, and then I just got the dragon. It looks like I don't have it here. I'm gonna bring it from my other document here. And uh, let me see where it is. So I'm gonna double click because it's a smart object. So I'm just gonna copy it and put it right over here. And now let's close that. And let's put this guy over here. So basically what I did is I wanted to play with, uh, with this and make it look like this guy is touching the dragon. So just put it over there like so and create a layer mask for the dragon because uh, I just moved it slightly touching well you can see that line over here so just put that over there now create a, a layer mask for the dragon and drop the opacity a little bit and with the brush just make sure you use a hard brush um, almost hard at 100 percent maybe 90 percent is okay opacity and flow 100 percent on the brush and i'm gonna make it just a little bigger uh, smaller sorry and i just want to um, mask this right over there like so to reveal the finger and actually what you can do is just create a, a bigger mask than what you need and then just build it back because now I'm going to increase the opacity back to 100% press the X key and just to switch tones I think I have the pen pressure on which is not what I want okay and just carefully paint back the dragon oops like so now we still have to make the shadow because um the hand of this man is supposed to leave a shadow on the dragon's skin so have to we have to do that i'm gonna create a new layer on top and i'm gonna clip it and i'm gonna name it shadow and with the brush i'm gonna use a soft brush this time but i'm gonna use a and black color but I'm going to lower the opacity to 20 and the flow to 30 and just uh, paint this soft shadow right here. It's not a really big shadow, but it's it's enough for what we need. And it, it's going to change how, oops, I painted too much there. It's going to change how this looks like. Okay, so here as well. I'm going to increase the opacity to 50% on the brush. Okay. See that? You're going to see that it's not a big shadow, but uh, it's enough to give it realism and, and make the dragon look a, a little better. Okay, what else? Um, I started then adding um, some effects and creating the fire inside the dragon's mouth. So uh, first, uh, let's open a stock image the stock image of the of the fire actually blaze burn I'm gonna drag it in here 
we're gonna change the blind mode to screen and I'm gonna turn it like so because I just want part of the flames like so and I think I'm gonna make it smaller like that I just need part of the flames and those embers that are flying there like so and now I'm gonna create the layer mask for this uh, for this image I'm gonna mask almost all of it oops with the brush I'm gonna use a soft brush and paint with with white opacity and flow 100% and just uh, with black sorry and just uh, remove the fire over there and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reveal the file the fire sorry but only uh, I'm gonna hide it where you see the the, the fangs there the, I'm gonna remove that and then I'm gonna paint it back in between like so you can temporarily disable the layer mask to see with shift click to see where the fire is or you can also lower the density of it and then continue painting I'm not gonna paint uh, on top of the the dragon's fangs because uh, I want to create the the illusion while the that that the fire is inside the mouth, not not outside. Okay, so that's why I'm doing this. Okay, I think we're good to go. I'm gonna increase the density back to 100%, and this one there. You don't have to be really really careful because uh, we're gonna add some light effects now. And this one with a big soft brush, I'm gonna get rid of it like so. We're gonna create some light effects. I just need that bit of fire there. And now I'm gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna put it on screen. And I'm gonna get the brush tool, opacity and flow 100%, the soft brush. Mm -hmm. And just uh, get a, an orange tone, really darkish one. We're gonna paint several layers and just add some light like so. And now I'm gonna use a brighter tone and maybe something a bit more towards yellow and add some glows of light like so see that and now we have to add the light on the on the tree there okay so what I did is I went to the background layer this one and I created a new layer in between the dragon and the background and I'm gonna name it light and I don't I don't remember the blend mode that I used let me take a look at it because I don't remember overlay yeah I used overlay I got the brush tool and a color like this let's see if that works we're gonna change the blend mode to or to overlay yeah and paint like that you can see it's too red so what I'm gonna do is you can either undo it and change the color but chances are you're not gonna nail it so you're not gonna get a perfect color so a better solution would be to just leave it painted like that and then press control command U and change with the hue until you get the tone that you like we don't want something greenish like this something orange more or yellowish like like that it's okay now I'm gonna double click and I'm gonna use the blend if I'm gonna double click to open the layer styles and from here I'm gonna play with this to create a better transition you see if I leave it there it just looks like too linear so I'm going to move this slightly towards the right and now I'm going to press and hold the option or alt key on the Mac and just move this a little more towards the right and this um, avoids showing that color where we have black areas okay and creates a better transition okay now we have that what else let's add some flying embers in here so I'm gonna load another image another stock image but my computers run really slow uh, this time I'm gonna open this one open with Photoshop CC and I'm gonna grab this part of here I'm gonna close it paste that image there and play change the blind mode to screen now it's kind of too many textures I'm gonna make it really big and do something like that you will notice that you can see that line over there I don't know if you can see it on the video that's because the black the background is not completely black so what you do is select the layer control command N we've done this a lot of times 
in many <clears throat> sorry in many of my manipulations um, I'm gonna put it right over there the bokeh effects that you see here I created those uh, with the other image so basically what I did is I opened again this other image I think it was it was this one I don't remember uh, you can use any other image that has this flying embers uh, I'm gonna cut part, part of it and I'm gonna paste it right over there and I'm gonna change the blind mode to screen again but this time what I'm gonna do it's I think it's too big so I'm gonna make it a little big uh, smaller what I will do is put those flying embers right over there and go to filter and I'm gonna use the blur gallery and I'm gonna use the fill blur and with the fill blur you can create bokeh effects now you will not be able to do this in in old versions of Photoshop like Photoshop CS6 I I think it doesn't have this so um, I'm, I'm not really sure maybe Photoshop CS6 does have it but uh, Photoshop CS5 or CS4 they don't have this feature I think and basically you just go down here to the bokeh section and increase the light bokeh like that and then you have to play with the range so moving this towards like like that starts to create the bokeh effect but if you increase the blur you will start to see a better effect see that and playing with the range allows you to uh, change how the light behaves and how that looks. Also increasing the bokeh color uh, starts creating different effects. Uh, the effect is a lot stronger when you move it toward the dark, towards the dark there, and uh, having a, a wider range like this, and you can create this kind of stuff. So with this, with these three uh, sliders, you can create uh, these effects the stronger the light bokeh the, the stronger the effect here so um, just play with this uh, images and uh, basically with the light range what you do is is you're telling Photoshop that lights that are really dim should be increased or um, something like that I guess just play with this and find the sweet spot and that's it you can all you can see that it also creates this kind of distortion which is really cool so I'm gonna leave it like that you've seen how I did this I'm gonna click OK and wait for Photoshop to apply the, the blur and we're done this line there is because of the edge of the image so you can mask it out with that layer mask that I had I can mask it out okay of course once you're done if you don't like the color you can press Control command U again and just play with it and you can create any color you like I'm gonna leave it like so and click OK and next came the effects I created a new layer I don't remember that I, I, ju I just remember that I used um, um, I used this um, color lookups to create the final effect uh, of course for the dragon I darkened it a little bit with the curves adjustment so I created the curves adjustment on top of the dragon uh, clips to it and I think I darkened it just a little bit like so and I, I think I even painted some light on the eye but I'm not sure and then adjustment layers and I like to use color lookups a lot I think I use the crisp winter and the crisp warm crisp warm creates this sort of warmish image and it increases the contrast a lot maybe it's even too much and next a color lookup with the crisp winter this creates a bluish tone especially here on the highlights I really like that but it's too strong on the rest of the image because you, you see I, we got this really high contrast image which a lot of people does especially the beginners because I, I don't know why it's the tendency of creating this high contrast images is not what I like even this one I think I have my my brightness down on on my screen but it's not really what I like it's too contrasty for me so what I did is I change this after that after creating all these um, adjustments I edit this in camera raw so what I'm gonna do is create a new layer shift option command E to merge everything onto that new layer and now I can apply the camera raw filter to the whole image and here I tweaked a bit the the contrast so basically I, re I reduced contrast you see that or also you can uh, increase the shadows a little bit like so and uh, in Photoshop I created some glows of light using the screen blend mode but you can do it here in camera raw as well just create a, 
a filter like that. I'm going to reset everything, the local corrections. And just uh, you can uh, decrease the dehaze. This creates this glow of light. And you can give it a color, of course. You can just click here and, I don't know, pick a color from here or something bluish like so. And what else? Clarity, we can also drop it. If you want to create this sort of a softish look on it. And of course, you can create another one for the dragon's mouth if you if you like to. Of course, I'm going to reset this again. And I'm going to decrease the dehaze a little bit to create that light and maybe increase the temperature to create something yellowish. And what else? Let's go back to the whole image and clarity. You can increase it. I want to go to the effects and add some post crop vignetting. Of course, I don't want that black to darken my image here. So I'm going to increase the highlights to respect those. So act, the highlights act as a layer mask. And we don't have that uh, dull looking uh, image. With a split toning effect, we can create that greenish tone that you see ahead on my on my image, but not that strong. Yeah, maybe something like that. And of course, with the effects, uh, sorry, with the camera calibration, we can change the the whole thing here. Oops. You can see how <laughs> I really like to work with the uh, with the camera calibration at the end of the uh, of my manipulations. I think they look really really cool. And what else? Of course, with this, you can paint uh, stuff and then just. Uh, for example, if I want to have more contrast there on the face of the of that guy, I can increase the clarity with a with what I painted or maybe the eye here and just increase the clarity and the exposure. But OK, I'm going to click OK and we're done. Really simple. And we went from this to this. Uh, of course, on the original, I spent a little more time to create this uh, color tones and the textures but uh, basically that's how i how i made this i hope you enjoyed it and if you have any uh, any comments or suggestions or whatever uh just post a comment on the video here on youtube or on my website so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time